Our guest today fell in love with music by the virtue of listening to his father's huge collection of Afrobeats, iLife, and even jazz. By age nine, he had become fully devoted to music, idolizing legendary icons like Fela Kuti and Dr. Dre. Ladies and gentlemen, right here in the building, let's make welcome to the show, G Bola. G Bola. G. Yeah. I get, we talked about this the last time that people yeah. always think it's Jibola. Yeah, yeah, they <laughs> but, think I'm a Lagos boy. But no. <laughs> What's up with you? I'm good, bro. How's it been since then here. and now? Uh, a lot has happened, though. Yeah. A lot. You know, we started the label. I dropped the, the album, Black Slide and White Sox, which is, you know, with no doubt the, the hardest hip hop album out of Nigeria at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, you know, a, a lot has happened and a lot, a lot more is still happening, you know. So, yeah. Nice. So um, tell us about your style of music. I mean, from your bio, yeah. you were influenced by lots of things, um, Afrobeats, your yeah. father's collection yes. of Afrobeats. So tell us about your own choice of music and why you stuck to your own genre of music. Yeah, okay. Actually, you know, I grew up like, you know, my dad was always listening to Afrobeat, but uh, personally, I loved rap music. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up like just indulging in rap culture and mm -hmm. that really influenced me growing up. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it's only right that I was doing rap music, mm -hmm. even if I still do Afrobeat on the side, but mm -hmm. rap was, hip hop was um, uh, my major influence, you mm -hmm. get me? So um, it's just like, it's just, it's just been like that from, from day one. And uh, my dad always listened to Afrobeat and he used to like DJ, he used to have like a lot of collections, vinyls, Osadebe, nice. you know, all nice. these guys, Fela Classic, Kuti, yeah, all, the, yeah, yeah. all the classics. So until date, we still have like the vinyls and all that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's how it started for me. And then, you know, I went into music. It just became like, I never like said like, you know, I want to do music. I just saw myself like mm -hmm. doing it, you mm -hmm. know, just growing up like that. How was your father's reception to you doing music? At first, it was hard. I remember one time, <laughs> yeah, yeah, one time we fought, he kicked me out of the house. No way. Yeah, it was terrible, bro. <laughs> but then uh, he saw like he couldn't take me out of it, and then he started supporting me. One time he sent me money to even shoot a video. No oh, way. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. May he rest in peace now, Sean. Uh -oh. I wish he was alive to see what we're doing with the music I mean, right you're now. Doing, you're doing great. Yeah, you're doing yeah, great. he would definitely have him proud. So I'm wondering now, the rest of your family, how did it take you doing music? Oh. And yeah, because I mean, it's been your dad, your dad, he was a music yeah. lover, but how about everybody else in your family? Yeah, everybody else, you know, like, I remember when, when, when I started, because like, you know, when the, the dad is the captain of the house. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if he says, don't do this, everybody else is like, Follows. okay, don't do that. Though. Like my mom, I remember like my mom would be like, I listen to your dad now. Why are you always fighting your dad? This music thing, this music thing, it will put you in trouble. Yeah. But now, you know, my mom is super proud. You know, I'm so glad like, She's alive to see what I'm doing, the music, like, you know, and she's benefiting from it as well. Mm -hmm. You know, my whole family is like super uh, supportive of, of my project. You know, my, my elder sister is actually my manager, you know, mm -hmm. she runs the record label for me. You know, so yeah, like it's everybody is, 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 is on the ship, actually, you know, nobody's left behind. Let, let, let's talk about, <clears throat> you were based in Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> How is it like now? Do you still shuttle with Russia, Nigeria, or yeah. what is... What's the situation with the record label back in Russia? What's the situation? Yeah, right actually, now? the record label is um, is based in Lagos, right? Okay. So we came back home, set it up here. We have artists like Eriga, yeah. Rhythm City. Um, but I still go back and forth with Russia because I have a lot of like fan base there. I get a lot of shows. I get a lot of like um, you know interviews. Like you know, yeah. you speak the language. Yes, I do. You infuse it in your rap. No, I don't. You don't. <laughs> yes, yes, I don't do that. It's like culture vulturing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How would you feel if a, um, a white guy come and start speaking Igbo or, or Yoruba? You're like, what was this? Like, <laughs> what are you, are you trying just, to steal us? Yeah, but, but we don't have the comedians that do that. Like, yeah. and they make songs and yeah, they yeah, do yeah, well, so We, we don't just, mind. It's a little bit strange for me. Yeah, though. yeah. Like, you know, yeah. it's for, like, I'm, I'll be like, I don't understand it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, so I don't really do it, but I speak the language uh, yeah. pretty much average. Yeah. Um, yeah, Russia is like, it's, it's for me, it's, it's it's my second home, yeah. bro. It's mm. the safest, for me, it's the safest place in the world. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Till now? Yes. Till now. Oh, yeah, no. I, I was just yeah. gonna ask because you know the whole Russia Ukraine thing is yeah. going on. Like, what do you think about that? Um, and how is it affecting you? Okay, yeah, it's actually affecting me uh, because, uh, you know, most of my listeners, like, 80% is from Russia and Ukraine. Uh, you get what I mean? Like, on my Apple Music, I get like mm -hmm, millions of streams mm -hmm. from them. So with this war right now, Spotify left Russia, Apple Music left Russia. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, Instagram is not working in Russia. Like you need to use a VPN. So I said Instagram. 
Yeah, you, you cannot run ads. You yeah. cannot promote on YouTube. So, it's yeah, it, kinda, yeah it, it, it really did. Affect. Let's let's talk about um, rap industry in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, so the rap industry in Nigeria has uh, experienced highs and lows. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get um, yeah. we've had moments where everybody was all about rap, yeah. and then it went down. You know, emergence of M I rapper Banda. singing. Yeah, yeah, rapper singing. Now we have Black Bones. Yeah. We have a bloody pole. Mm -hmm. But still, they they are infusing lots of singing into their songs because yeah. they want to sell out there. You know, yeah. so um. What's your plan to, what, what, what's going to make you different? I mean, with your rap game, choosing the rap, how are you going to do it? How are you going to make sure that people subscribe back mm -hmm. to rap? Yeah, first of all, I think like, I don't know, man, the names you call, yeah, they're doing good, but still, rap is dead in Nigeria, bro. Yeah. Because um, most of the rappers right now, they are jumping on the bandwagon of Afrobeat artists mm -hmm. because they see this is the hottest thing right now. People are, Afrobeat is doing great, Afrobeat is yeah. doing that. So they're trying to like, jump on that mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. it's it's making them lose value of like the you know the real rap culture and what it really represents you mm -hmm. get me it's cool to make a features with afrobeat artists yeah but at the same time you need to understand what you stand for you mm -hmm. get me because if you don't stand for something you're just gonna fall for anything you yeah get me? true so most of our rappers they really switched so bad <laughs> and, and and it's like it, it's it's it sucks pardon me to say it really yeah. sucks yeah. that's why i say like my tape right now is the hottest Hip hop rap album ever. If you haven't seen that, you should go see it. It's called Black Slide and White Sox. Where is that rapper? No, 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 no cap. No, 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 no cap. No cap. No Nigerian rapper can, you know, nice. second guess it. You yeah. get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, this is the hottest tape. We have Octavian from the UK on it. We have Eriga on it. We have Calligraph Jones from Kenya. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this nice. is literally the hottest rap. I can, like, I can, nice. I can back it up. Nice. You feel me? Like, nice. for real. So, yeah, what we're doing with the rap, we're really coming to, like, change it, you know, with the style, with the music, with the lyrics, you know, with the movement. We're really trying to, like, um, you know, um, revive hip hop culture in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Because, like, mm -hmm. back in the day, right, big shout out to Amir, yeah? He really inspired me to start, like, really see rap as a big movement. Because, like, during mm -hmm. the days of, um, um... Mode 9. Mode 9, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mode 9. Uh, oh, no. Jesse Jack, Jesse Ice Jack. Prince. Ice <laughs> Prince, You know, uh, um, um, what's this guy's name again? Sauce Kid. Sauce Kid. Ah, Sauce Kid. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Sauce Kid, like, those were, when, those were the days when, like, rap and the evil, you would be proud. But yeah. then, it got to a point where it moved to, like, SA. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, right now, yeah. SA hip hop is doing good. Yeah, um, shout out to like Blackie. Like, we've been going back and forth. We're supposed to have Even Ghana soon. is doing good. Yeah, Ghana is doing good. I yeah. have like two Ghana rappers on, on, on my tape, actually yeah. uh, Kweku Smoke and J Bad. Oh, nice. Jimmy, because like, I couldn't find um, mm. like Nigerian <laughs> artists. Oh, I'm ready for the smoke. Hold on, tell me. <laughs> More smoke from G Bola. We still have G Bola, G -Bola. not G Bola. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be clear. In the building, we just checked out that video, and J Paul was saying how they just sounded like grime, like yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, UK yeah. Yeah. street undertone, the drill, and then yeah. to like get. How, how do you come up with your music? Uh, okay, for most of my songs, I don't usually write. No. Yeah, yeah, I don't usually write. You just oh, freestyle. Yeah, I just freestyle. I usually like just do it on the mic, on the spot. Nice. I just keep it going. Yeah, cause like I do write some of my songs, okay. but um, it takes away from my how do I put it now? From my like it takes away from like me just being super creative. You mm -hmm. get what I mean? Cause mm -hmm. when I'm just going off the top, I can try different things. I can be formless. Mm -hmm. I can just you know do some things that would even wow me. You know? Mm -hmm. But when I start writing, yeah. I, I start sounding like a preacher. Like, you know, <laughs> I, start, I start sounding like a teacher. Like, you know, saying peace. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Wants everybody wants a piece no, of. Everybody wants a piece of peace. No, you know? OJ, it's not okay. planned. So, you know what? Let, let, let's 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 do <laughs> OJ from lectures. OJ, don't be the Nigerians. OJ, everybody wants a piece. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. OJ, don't join the Nigerians. He said. Let him do us a favor. OJ has been feeling like a rapper on this show today. He looks like one though. You he say? Does he's, not one. he's not one. You say? So please give us, yeah, give sure. him some lessons. Problem. Him some lessons. Looks like a trapper. No, give him some lessons. <laughs> so, give him, give him. My, oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Do this for December. That was it. <laughs> wow. So, talking about show, um, so what's the plan for December? Everybody, you know, everybody wants to do a show in mm -hmm. December. Uh, artists that are based there music? come back home, mm -hmm. and you have new music, you have a new project. What's the plan for December for you? Yeah, I mean, the plan for December is, you know, um, jump on a few stages. You know, we're actually in talks to get, like, a few concerts going on. Um, but still, I, I still have some shows in Russia, like... this. You're going to come? So, yeah, I'll just be shortly. Oh, wow. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I have like three shows in Russia this oh. this, this December. You know, I, those are my my people, man. Yeah. I still gotta go feed them. You know what I mean? Like, I still come back. Yeah. And, like, yeah. yeah. But but December so, we here. So things are still functioning normally in Russia. Oh, everything is everything is going normal, bro. Everything what am I watching fine. on? You know, it's Ukraine. <laughs> you see, the thing is, the media is run by. Uh, permit me to say, I know I'm on TV, but the media. Are you about to pull a Kanye West? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I'm not about to go that route. <laughs> but, but the media is run by people that want you to see some certain things. I mean, yeah. people oh, own yeah. this media outlet. So if they say, okay, you know what? I want them to believe this and mm -hmm. this is happening. That's mm -hmm. what you're going to see. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's better to seek out information from independent medias. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because like, yeah. you see all this normal media we see, it's mm -hmm. all. You know, it's all for gazes out there, mm. right? for real, for real. All right. Let's let's talk about your fashion. Your fashion. I'm I'm, I'm intrigued by your fashion already, and then I see, <laughs> I've seen your video. So, how do you describe your fashion? What do you like? Do you just wake up and you just you know put things together? How do you please. describe your fashion? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, for real though. I don't have like I never use a stylist in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I just I don't know. It's just how I feel that day, you know. Yeah. I don't know how to like. I know some people they want to go out next week. They're already picking out their outfits. <laughs> 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 I don't know how they do that. Like, I'm not that organized yet, frankly. <laughs> you know, so I just, you know, how I'm feeling that day. Like, today, I just, you know, just... just let's let, let's, let's go kill them. You understand? <laughs> but I, I want to know, now that you're around, are you yeah. looking to collaborate with any Nigerian artist? Or have you just said, nah. Any Nigerian rapper? Nah, 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 nah. Any Nigerian rapper? I just said, nah, nah, nah. Y'all in my scene. Of course, of course. I'm looking at, like, we're already uh, working on some. I'm looking at collaborating with, you know, um, Nigerian artists that I really, I really love what they're doing, their art, you know, I really love what they stand for, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that. But the thing about collaborations, you know, it's, it comes with its own, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's sketchy, you know, yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. you want to release the song, you need to clear it, yeah. you need to wait for the person to be ready to release the song, mm -hmm. so I'm not really so heavy on collaborations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. What, what, what's up with Eriga? What's happening there? Yeah, Eriga. Yeah. Eriga is signed to our uh, label, Greatness Music. Okay. You know, nice. Yeah, yeah. So what we do, we help him distribute his songs, you know. Okay. Um, we help him with his publishing and all. And he, he just dropped the album, Lost Boy. Yes, Lord. yeah, true. And he went number one, actually. True. Big shout out to Eriga. And he, he has the deluxe coming out on oh. November 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The deluxe album's coming nice. out soon. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Cool stuff. Cool okay, stuff. What, when people get to listen to your project, what's the message that they should take out from it? Oh, you see, the thing is, right, I, I grew up in Onisha, Anambra State, right? Mm. And then um, I moved to Russia to study, and then I started doing music. And, like, my whole journey has been different. It's not like the typical Nigerian rapper that's in Nigeria making music. I went through a lot of stuff, you know. I went through racism. I went through discrimination. I went through cold you know, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I went through like a lot. I was away from my family for like five years. You know, I didn't see my mom. So I went through like real um, grown man stuff, I would say. So when you listen to my tape, these are the things you hear, my experiences, like real life. What it is to like be in a white uh, community and still strive and chase your dreams. It, it's no joke, you know what I mean? Like, it's really not yeah. easy. Not everyone will go through that and still come yeah. out, you know, the same. Sometimes you go in just like, you know, it's, it's I, like I, you facing I'm, your I'm peers. curious though, what's your Nigerian name? Great. No, like your full journey. Great. My, my name is Imano. Great. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm just, I'm just hoping nice. he names the next project from Onicha to Russia. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was thinking about that. That would be cool. He'll be dope. <laughs> be because I'd, I'd be interested yeah. Onicha to Russia. Why? Yeah, yeah, How? yeah. yeah it will yeah. pay you for that, by the way. Last friend, Marcus. Thank you very much, G-Baller, for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank